everyone the more the more is how we greet ourselves which means hello how are you here's wishing everyone a happy international day of world indigenous people and i'm so proud to be one of these indigenous people and i'm sure my team here is also proud to be uh, called indigenous people we belong to the tedimchin tribe which comes under a larger ethnic group called zomi hailing mainly from india and myanmar uh, without further ado let's kick start with a song that's usually sung uh, during a dance called khokhai lam this song has its originality in a small village near tonzang myanmar and is usually used for merry making and dancing um, at night among the young boys and young girls um, it's a song that invites all brothers and sisters to dance together along the beat of the drum to lift their legs swiftly and lightly like a deer it's a song that says that as long as we move together hand in hand we will have a better motherland or in other words what we call zogam <laughs> This next song is sung during the celebration of our New Year festival called Khodopoi. Khodopoi is celebrated between September and December after harvesting crops like corn and rice that was grown in that entire year. It's a time of merrymaking and feasting until our stomachs would burst. Everyone would be so excited and happy and uh, it's even said that children would not uh, sleep the entire night before the main event due to overexcitement. The word khwa means weather and do means fight. So khwa do means fighting the devil which can harm us. This festival is a closure to one year and getting pumped up for the next year. It's usually celebrated over a span of four to five days. And in one of these days, uh, one of these days is used to mourn for the people who passed away that year. This next song is called Dona Ling Ling, which is sung during a visit to the graves of people who died that year. 
they would slaughter a pig and take the internal organs to the families of the dead and then further move to the grave. This visit is called Dai Ho and the song goes like this. The song that we just heard mourns for the dead and says that while everyone else is so happy and having fun, I'm here at the grave mourning the loss of my loved one. It's really interesting to know that until this group, the group which uh, goes and visits the grave, returns from the graveyard, the people in the village would not start feasting. I want all of us to know that this practice was uh, followed mainly uh, before Christianity was brought to us through the missionaries and our forefathers were animists, worshipping nature and believed in evil spirits. This uh, festival is now celebrated more as a harvest festival, thanking God for all the harvest for that year and asking for his protection from anything evil that may harm us. It's also used as a time of self-reflection and preparing oneself for a fresh start in the new year. We are people who are very close-knit, as you can see, we're very close-knit. And uh, on certain occasions, we gather together and sing songs. Now this get-together, we call it Leng Hom. Um, and this Leng Hom happens uh, on different occasions, like I said. It may happen when anyone in the village is mourning a dead one, where the entire village even people from the next village, they would come together and sing songs together and comfort each other. We also uh, do this practice of laying home um, during special occasions like Christmas and New Year. The songs, as you will uh, get to know, are very swayy, very mellow, and it's usually sung with a drum. Many of these uh, the songs that we sing during these uh, events are translated from other tribal languages and uh, one of them goes like this. <laughs> Thank you.